Welcome back to our Chutes and Ladders project. In our last video, we stopped by building the check climb method, which checks which position that they're in and which position that they need to go to on the board. And the climb is for each of the ladders on the board. Now we need to do the check fall method. So we'll go to the end of the method and hit enter a few times. And we're going to say private uh, void check fall. You could also use check slide if you want because you're going down a slide. And then we're going to do another switch statement. Pass in our current position. And then our cases are the um, our cases are actually going to be case numbers are going to be larger because they're starting at an upper position and sliding down to a lower position. So we're going to start with case 16, and we're going. I'm spelled wrong. Case 16, and we're going to fall to six, and then break. I need a semicolon there. And then case 48. And then we'll fall to position 26 on the board. Then case 49. And we'll fall to, I need a break. And then case 49, and we're going to change to position 11. And then break out of the switch statement. And then case 56. Oh, hold on a second here. Let's. All right, so it's case 56, and we'll fall to 53. It's a short ladder, or short slide, I mean. And we'll break out, if that's true. And then case 62. And Pizik down to 10, square 10 break out and we have case 64 and position is set to 60 another break case 87 And position is 24. Case 93. Position is then 73. So we the user slides down to 73 on the board. Case 95. And the user slides down to 75. You need to make sure you have a break after with it for each case. In case 98, he is equal to 78. Make sure we have semicolons in the right places. And then we need a default, and we'll just return nothing. It's like a base case. And 
business is when somebody doesn't fall. And we'll end the switch statement. And then we'll print out to the user, you fell down a chute. And you can use things like emoticons if you want. So this is, you know, this is ending our, and then we have an unhappy face here. And this is just our end quotes, end parentheses, and um, our end semicolon. So you can add an ASCII characters for fun if you like to your messages. And then we'll finish out the method. I think I might have an extra curly brace here. Yes, that's a class one. So. so here's where I like to put in end comments. So I can keep my curly braces straight. and say end of climb. All right, I'm going to save this and check to see if I have any compiling errors. Oh, I have a, it's like I have an extra symbol there or something. And that is not end of method. Hmm. Error says missing a return statement. I think that's all I'm turning there. Let me check. Boolean add. Ah, yes, I remember. Otherwise, I missed you need to return false. For the, I missed the other case. There we go. All right, so then we need to um, make two more methods for our position on the board. And we need to be able to um, get the x and y position um, for each position. So we'll go ahead and put these up here because they're very important. And um, they're part of our mutators and assessors. So public int get x and this gets the x x position on board. And so we want to... Let's see. Well, we're going to get P, and then we want to subtract 1 so that we actually get the position in the array. So it's P minus 1. And then we need to divide by 10 because there's 10 rows. And our and then we need to, we want to see if it's in an even row. Um, so we do modulus 2 and we need some parentheses so we can do order of precedence. And we'll need two more parentheses here because we want to first subtract from P and then we want to divide by 10 and then we want to make sure that it's modulus 2, so we're only looking for even rows in this case. So we'll add another set of parentheses here. We'll say looking for even rows. And then if that's true,
then what we want to do is return p minus 1 modulus 10 times 25 and the reason we're using 25 is that's the number of pixels that is going to be on our graphics board no so let me bring up our shoots and ladders and you can see here in this um, video that if we blow up our current board in paint and look at the width of each square it's 25 pixels starting from the left corner to the end of the first corner so it sets of 25 25 and then we start at the green and go to the 25 start at the green and go to the 25 okay and then and we'll be creating the graphics in a few minutes in, in our next video. And I'm missing my parenthesis, matching parentheses there. Okay, so then we have an else statement with our if. So else, and this is for our odd rows. And so we want to return the length of the board in pixels, which is 245, then minus the current position, modulus 10, times a size of a square. So let's save that method. We'll compile and see what it doesn't like. Turn 245 minus P minus 1 modulus 10. Missing a parentheses right here by the modulus 10. And there we go. All right, so now we need to write the Y get y position. So we'll say public int get y and we'll add a comment so you can add these comments. I'm going to put them at the top. Alright, so get y And for y, what we want to do is return the length of the board, so 245 minus p minus 1. Now here we divide by 10, and we multiply by 25, which is the size of one of our squares. And let's check our, make sure our brackets match, 1, 2, and three. So that looks pretty good. Let's compile. And it looks like we don't have any errors. So that's it for this video. And in the next one, we will um, start doing some of the graphics.